The Rio Grande train station has been a Salt Lake City landmark for more than a century. The main hall does host community events, exhibits, and the winter farmer's market. But the basement, which is off limits to the public, is where the Utah Division of History keeps pieces of the past it started collecting in 1897. In this series of stories, you'll see everything from century-old swimming suits to tools used to build temples. But first up... You've got an item today that relates to where we're standing right now. Yes, the Denver and Rio Grande Railroad conductor's hat. This hat is was donated by one of the workers and it would have been what he wore as the station master. It's really nice. So it's, it's impressive. In, it's in great condition. The Rio Grande building opened in 1910. Its rail lines first connected mining towns and soon major cities in the era before air travel was available or common. What would it have been like at this station 50 or 100 years ago? Oh, it was a bustling hub of, you know, people traveling across the United States. World War II being shipped off to war. Yeah. Um, we've had veterans walk in and say, hey, yeah, when I was 18, I came here to get on a train to go to war. And so there's lots of memories through this train station and so many people touched a lot of people's lives. The last train left this station in 1999. It's a big landmark building. I heard that the building was damaged in the earthquake. Yes, they are, as we speak, doing uh, renovation work to um, get it going again. 